what's up ladies and gentlemen so today we are under the coronavirus outbreak and we are in lockdown at our homes and uh, in this time we are doing a lot of things and uh, I want to share with you today is an alphabet I have made it's an alphabet for um, somewhat more advanced levels but it is important to heed to these um, things that I'm going to uh, talk about this is about learning the alphabet with regard to the coronavirus outbreak now uh, it is always always advised to heed to the warnings that are given by the World Health Organization in their website uh, you can uh, find it at who.int and you should also pay heed to the local news to what the local authorities are saying and uh, stay at homes ladies and gentlemen so let me start with the alphabet that i have uh, written a few days earlier before the curfew and lockdown here was uh, made uh, was made mandatory so with a we have adapt what what, uh, what thing are is being referred here it is uh, we are referring to the epidemic it is required for yours and everybody else's welfare so we need to adapt to this new situation and we cannot go on like we used to uh, in the days before the pandemic hit so uh, we have we have to make some changes make some adjustments to our lifestyle and uh, therefore we have to adapt to this new situation Number two is boycott and boycotting what? It is that we should boycott large public gatherings. We should boycott face-to-face -face meetings and such. It is also being advertised by the local agencies, local government here, and also by the World Health Organization, but you should also uh, keep it uh, in mind to boycott everything that has a risk of transmission unless it is uh, an emergency situation. For C, we have calculate. What do we need to calculate? What we do need to calculate is the supplies. So we need to calculate how much we will need for family in a, in a week or two when we are in lockdown and perhaps even for a longer time span. And this saves the number of trips we have to make to the supermarket or to the local markets, the bazaar as we call it here. Uh, it is uh, very useful because it reduces the transmission rate and every time you go there is an there is a slight risk that you might get infected and when you add up this risk multiplies because there are a lot of actors involved in this situation so we must calculate our supplies and we should uh, reduce our trips to the supermarkets in advance we need a basic planning here which is uh, we should always do even uh, without there is an uh, there is an epidemic we should uh, stop panic buying we should stop holding we should stop buying things that are unnecessary because uh, they are really bad for the environment <clears throat> then for d we have to drive and we have to drive personally public trans trans uh, transportation and shared or regular taxis and cabs are a no no so it is being applied uh, these days uh, just in the yesterday we had this lockdown and it was uh, told that we should drive uh, by ourselves only when it is uh, very necessary so people were going out in motorcycles and police were mm, confronting them and we have some videos on nine gag that doesn't uh, show the police in very good light because they are sometimes using uh, slightly mm, and slightly what should i say uh, slightly old-fashioned uh, type of punishment so but still if we have to drive for emergencies or something uh, like medicines or food, we should drive by ourselves in our uh, motorbikes or cars. And this is perhaps the time where this public transportation thing is not the best for mankind. Next, for E, we should eradicate. We should eradicate mass hysteria and blind forwards in social media. So we need, need not panic. We should stay at homes obey the authorities what they're saying, obey the World Health Organization's guidelines, and um, we should uh, stop being hysterical, and we should stop being, stop forwarding 
blindly in social media whatever comes up in your whatsapp or in your news feed unless it is from a reputed source such as the government or the world health organization or something related to the world health organization we shouldn't forward it without uh, verifying it it's not uh, that difficult to verify because we have to just search in the news and we can guess uh, if it is uh, a very mm, uh, it is uh, fake news or it is not but uh, for the uh, best accuracy we should stick to the established news sources especially the international ones that are very collaborative with the WHO and for F we have four remedies this does not work uh, this do not work the brightest minds in our world are working on a solution in the laboratories everywhere uh, there are some uh, some news that there might be a cure available uh, quite soon but it's not uh, they cannot tell how soon so uh, so but we shouldn't trust on folk remedies we shouldn't trust on our superstitions we shouldn't trust uh, anything that uh, sounds uh, very contrary to the established scientific principles if you're using this uh, a cellular device or the internet and you should know where to find the basic uh, framework of scientific uh, discourses so we shouldn't be getting carried away with superstitions next for g we have group hugs these are strong no-no and family gatherings in person for frivolous reasons are unjustified so we do not have too many group hugs in real life but uh, but uh, there are a lot of family members coming uh, to our homes we are going to our relatives homes uh, to reassure ourselves but this is not required we do have a phone we should use the phone whenever there is a necessity and whenever even if we want us to some someone to talk to we can do it over the phone now we do have these video calls in skype we should make use of them for age we have hand washes they are required very frequently and i've said everyone knows wash your hands minimum for 20 to 25 seconds uh, because we, we need a buffer because we don't know how good your anti antimicrobial hand wash is so use something like Dettol or um, life boy and you'll be good to go so when you whenever you touch uh, this the surface which might be contaminated which is touched by many people in a short amount of time or it might be something risky do wash your hands with uh, this antiseptic solution alcohol also works well here for I, we have isolation. Uh, for people with respiratory distress and for people without those distress, we should isolate ourselves at least for, they are saying here, uh, 15 days. I think 15 or uh, 15 days, I think. So this has an incubation period. This coronavirus disease has an incubation period that is around 14 days. So uh, we should remain in isolation whenever possible and uh, the, therefore self-quarantine is recommended for a while and people with respiratory distress not amounting to something a bit more serious than usual should particularly be aware and people who are in deep respiratory troubles such as tra having trouble breathing unless they have a pre-existing condition such as asthma or something like that they should contact a doctor very to contact a doctor immediately. For J, we have jog. This jogging should be j done justly. Public exercises, once going to the gyms are prohibited. As in this lockdown, it is already being already being said it's being prohibited. But this is uh, some sometime before that. The, in our homes, our backyards and empty nature are safer for jogging. Uh, did you know? Did you know that it is possible to jog uh, and walk inside your home? It is also possible. To walk in a fixed spot it's not it might not be the best way to do it but uh, when where there is a will and where there is this pandemic there is a way for K we have kill this uh, microbiota at hot spots such as the wash basins the door handles and the tap uh, the head of the tap this uh, should be killed the microbiota in those places should be killed using uh, antiseptic solutions or alcohol-based solutions. Then for L, we have lukewarm. We should know that lukewarm re reactions are dangerous. 
uh, the outbreak when first it started in China and when it went to uh, Italy, then uh, people were not taking it seriously. So the reaction was lukewarm. And it's, as we found out, it was, uh, it was a catastrophe. So we shouldn't be lukewarm at all in the present circumstances. And lukewarm water is not very effective for viral eradication, but uh, if there is a choice between cold water and lukewarm water, you can use those lukewarm water. For him, we need mindfulness in crisis, so we do not need stampage or no just unjustified panic buying from, um, and we shouldn't panic also from uh, the news forward by anonymous sources. For N, we have never forget. We shouldn't, we should never forget because history has a tendency to repeat itself unless we are acting uh, actively. If you are acting actively, then uh, these uh, large scale pandemics such as the Spanish flu that happened in 1917, it was exacerbated, exacerbated by various other factors such as uh, the ongoing war and uh, poor sanitation, sanitary conditions. But however, if we don't learn from them, what went wrong, what could have been better, then uh, we can have a repeat of the history, even in uh, such a smaller, in a smaller scale. But still, uh, anything, uh, every life is precious, and uh, there are already thousands of people dying. So it is. Uh, we should never forget, or when here, and we should also learn from history. For all, oh, we have opportunism. We should keep opportunism at bay. So we should not hold the supermarket supplies and try to sell them at a higher price. It will not work one because uh, they are already quite well stocked and number two there might, might be legal action against you against you the police might be coming uh, coming at your door uh, this happened in some uh, some places so you should be moral as always as a responsible citizen and uh, we should keep it opportunism at bay for few we have peace this peace should be maintained uh, we shouldn't uh, panic and start a ruckus because uh, because this is uh, this can be under control if we act diligently, act peacefully, and stop the I can say this interspecies competition or something like that. This is an interspecies battle, so we should remember that. For Q, it's quarantined, it's done when an epidemic unfolds, it's not an unjustified attack on the individual's personal freedom. Like many people are thinking, especially young people, they are thinking, why shouldn't I go to the park? Why shouldn't I go to the jogging areas? Why shouldn't I go to the beach? But you should quarantine because um, it is mandatory whenever there is an epidemic. You can, you can uh, hurt yourself, you can hurt your family, you can hurt the other citizens of your country very badly. So even if you are not sick, even if you are very healthy, you should mm, follow this quarantine. For R is recurrence, and it is not something unnatural. For example, if, we, if you catch a cold, or if you uh, catch uh, something, uh, when you catch the virus, it, it might sometimes uh, reoccur once you are uh, out of uh, this critical conditions. but in the next time, it is uh, in in most of the in very many of the cases, uh, as I will say that in almost all the cases, you are going to have a milder attack. But cases will come and go, and uh, there is no need to panic. There's sometimes you can find that there are, there are, there are going to be uh, more cases after uh, say ten days or fifteen days. But we shouldn't panic. This is uh, the normal trajectory of such an epidemic. Uh, but we should uh, keep our defenses high. For us, we have stave off, and what should we stave off? We should stave off herd mentality and frivolous desires to knowingly harm humanity, and we should listen to authorities. So we shouldn't uh, act like a herd at this time because our civilization is very much advanced, and in uh, almost all the cases, the authorities and the international agencies such as WHO know better than uh, what you can come up with with your own cohort of people. So we should uh, stave off this hard mentality and I would say that religious gatherings and such, uh, it is not the best time to do so.
publicly.